I know that a large portion of people that are coming to Stoico 21 are actually new to Stoicism, uh, and they are presumably curious uh, to find out what it, what it is all about. Well, welcome. Uh, this is going to be an amazing experience. You're going to listen to a lot of speakers who have a lot of interesting things to say. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is uh, whatever you heard about Stoicism, there is a good chance that at least part of it is not true. Stoicism is not about uh, sporting a stiff upper lip and uh, uh, going around life uh, suppressing your emotions, for instance. Although the Stoics certainly are about endurance and the Stoics also certainly are about modulating your emotions for and, and achieving a better emotional life or a better balance between uh, the emotions and your ability to reason through your problems. It's going to be an amazing event. You will learn a lot, and then you'll decide whether actually stoicism is something that you want to pursue uh, as a regular practice. And uh, if so, I, I'm going to make a bet that that's going to be a commitment that will stay with you for a long time. In terms of practice, uh, some people might uh, follow the uh, Handbook for New Stoics, which I co-wrote with uh, my friend uh, Greg Lopez is a intensive course of stoic practice is 52 exercises if one wants to do the entire thing it uh, can be done one exercise per week for an entire year although greg and i are mindful of the fact that not everybody is going to be ready to make that sort of commitment and therefore uh, right at the beginning of the book we put a little bit of a cheat sheet sheet um, and uh, we can tell people there are four or five exercises that you might want to try first and see, you know, dip your, your toes into the into stoicism, into practical stoicism, and see if that works for you. And then if it does, uh, you might want to explore the rest. These are exercises that are uh, that originate from uh, the ancient Stoic texts. All of the major Stoics are uh, mentioned and studied in the book: Epictetus, Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, Musonius Rufus, and so on. But each exercise is also updated to the best of what we know uh, from modern science, particularly cognitive science and uh, uh, personal and social psychology. Uh, we wanna make sure that Stoicism is not just an ancient philosophy developed more than two millennia ago. It's also a, a living uh, set of notions and practices that it's up to date with 21st century science. Good luck. <laughs>